Every day, you pee out a valuable resource, nitrogen. Your body uses nitrogen in everything from making amino acids to expanding blood vessels. But after processes like digestion, your body binds it up in urea, a compound we can't do much with, and it all goes swirling down the drain. In some ways, it's our loss, and it turns out that ruminants like sheep and cows really have us beat, because they've evolved a way to recycle their urea so it ends up not in their urine, but in their spit. Overall, urea isn't a bad thing. It might steal some of our sweet, sweet nitrogen, but it also prevents us and other mammals from poisoning ourselves. You see, some processes, including normal protein digestion, produce ammonia, a toxin made of hydrogen and nitrogen. And if that ammonia built up in the body, it would keep brain cells from efficiently transporting potassium, which could end up causing severe brain damage or death. But instead, it gets shuttled off to liver cells, which turn it into urea. Then the urea eventually ends up in the bladder. Since we use nitrogen for so much, peeing out urea may seem like a waste. But for us humans, it's not all bad. While recycling urea would be great from a nutrient perspective, it would also leave us with a bunch of extra nitrogen that could turn into ammonia. Basically, the extra nitrogen could be nice, but we don't always have something to do with it. Cue the ruminants. Ammonia is dangerous for them too, but they can and do recycle urea and the nitrogen in it, they just have something to do with it. They feel Feed it to their gut microbes. The process starts like it does in humans, with ammonia getting turned into urea by the liver. Some of the urea goes into their urine, but some of it takes another journey into their bloodstream, and some of that urea ends up in their salivary glands. It might sound kind of gross, but it's not like they're directly peeing into their mouths. And I mean, if you want more nitrogen in your diet, swallowing it is as easy as it gets. As they swallow their food and saliva, the urea enters the rumen, the first chamber in their stomach. And there, it meets a bunch of microbes. That's where the party starts. Those microbes have enzymes that turn the urea into all kinds of useful things, like amino acids that the animal can use to run its body. This is called the protein regeneration cycle, or urea recycling, and it's kind of like an insurance policy. Even if ruminants don't eat enough nitrogen-rich foods, they have this backup system for getting the nutrients they need. Granted, the rumen microbes process nitrogen on the first pass through the gut, too. But some ruminants can recycle nitrogen around two full times, or more, before excreting it which is way more efficient than what we do. Today, researchers are learning how to alter this system to reduce the amount of nitrogen these animals excrete, since compounds like nitrous oxide in cow manure are greenhouse gases. But even if we can't learn how to make this work for us, it's an amazing adaptation for them. With a little help from their friends, they're getting more from their food than we ever could. Which brings me to this week's President of Space. SciShow couldn't get by without a little help from our friends either, including today's President of Space, Faisal Saud. Faisal is one of our patrons on Patreon, and they help us continue making more free content like this. So our patrons are awesome. And they can get access to our monthly live streams and blooper reels. If you're not a patron but want to learn more about what it means to become one, you can go to patreon.com slash scishow. 